Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Backseat Drawing Workshops. I'm Eric. And I'm Josh. Today we're going to be doing a dragon wing tutorial, but I'm not prepared, Josh. So you're going to wing it. That's right. Nice. We're going nice. to wing it. But we're actually nice. going to start off with the hand. So what we're really going to do is we're going to hand it. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> no! I, Come on. Josh, I hand, won't hand, you that hand to you. it to me. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the reason why I'm talking about a hand is because dragon wings are actually very, very similar to the anatomy of a human hand. Um, Phalanges. That's right. So <laughs> if you finger. remember correctly from anatomy classes, this bone here is the humerus. It's a very funny bone. Yes, and then there's this bone here that I don't remember the name of. It's, there's two bones there. There's two, so maybe it's the tumorous. And then you have a bunch of bones of the fingers. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find this out tutorial crowd. Okay, so audience. as Josh looks up that... Arm bones. Bone message. I'm going to show you how this lines up to a dragon wing. Radius so, and ulna. Yeah, nice, because there's two. All right, so I, I already drew out the wing here. So basically, I'm going to show you where these bones kind of correspond to a dragon's wing, which is really kind of like just a bat wing, which is a mammal, and our I guess we're all kind of similar. So the hand is really, if you just took your hand and spread it out and then it's turned it in like a claw, and just imagine that your fingers were super long, that's basically a wing. So the humerus is actually right here. The radius and ulna are here. Here's the thumb. And here are the finger bones. As you can see, they're just really, really, really long. So all you really okay. need to do a dragon wing is your own hand. So go ahead and put your hand out, draw it, and then just imagine the fingers being super, super long. And then once you draw them out super long, just connect them with this little stringling. And you basically have a wing, which is one of the easiest ways to do a dragon wing. So as far as shading and lighting is concerned, one of the uh, references I use is actually an umbrella because an umbrella has the same sort of like stretched out cloth between thin bones. And it's a really good uh, reference point for the lighting in would, a wing. Would you not use a bat wing? You could, yeah. A bat wing is actually a very good reference for a dragon wing. And really all you have to do at that point is just paint it out. Boom, boom. You have your dragon oh. wing. And then just draw your dragon. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're saying I'm just drawing a bat wing and then I've got a dragon wing. Precisely. Okay. Well, that's easy. <laughs> yeah, and I hope this helped you. We'll see you on the next episode of Backseat Drawing Workshops. Smell you later. Smell you later.